Hey guys, welcome to the course. The thing we are going to talk about in this lesson is YouTube annotations. We are designing this whole outro to, to be working with those, so you need to also know how they work. I uploaded the outro already to YouTube to show you an example on how to use it and some important tips on that. I also formed the channel learnfromme.net just recently and I would like you to subscribe to this channel because I will be posting really useful tips and tricks in the future and you will definitely benefit from that. Okay, let me explain the annotations in case you didn't use them. So after you upload a video to YouTube and let's say this is already a video which had an intro, the new video played and you attach the outro to it. So the last 20, 50 or 30 seconds is the outro. So you simply go to your video and you can click on annotations. This takes you to a new panel where you can edit all the annotations there are. You can delete any annotations by just clicking on it and going here to the recycle bin. Okay, it's deleted. I drag the design a little bit further until I see the boxes. Okay, they appear somehow right now. And I just simply have to go to add annotation. I have a few options here and you should test all of them. But for the outro, I definitely recommend Spotlight. It's the most common one and it looks the best. Okay, you just simply drag it over the video. You have to take it and drag it over to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, and as you see, and this is very, very important, YouTube annotations create this big border around it. So when we design the outro, we need to also be thinking about that. We've made the boxes rounded and the YouTube annotations are straight cornered rectangles. So when you are designing the outro, you need also to think about this. I decided to use those rounded because they simply look good. But you could, for example, use no background for the subscribe button only the text and the annotation would create the rounded border. But personally, I do not like this. I, I like when the design is full and colorful. So I always go for, for those borders, for those big bu shiny buttons. So here you can drag over and select how long the annotation does last. And of course, we, will, we want it to be as long as possible. There are a few seconds on the back which are impossible to use. Then clicking on the annotation, you can decide whether it's a link or something else. You just have to click link and add the link to your YouTube video. There are only a few things you can link it. And for example, you can link it to be subscribed. And this is the link we will be going to use for the subscribe button. I will not make all the annotations right now because there's simply no time for it. But remember that the spotlight also adds this text box here. You can either drag it over to the down to the bottom and simply don't write anything. If I write something inside here, it will be appearing. You can color it, for example, to white, make it bigger. These are the basic options that YouTube is giving us by using the annotations. What I wanted to say here, please remember that the annotations will create big borders around the elements you just need to be thinking ahead when designing the outro. But don't get intimidated, just use your creativity and use it to your advantage. And people, and overall, people are already used to them, so they saw multiple outros and always those border around it, so this is no problem at all. And as you see, if you use the dark one, it's barely visible. I hope this was informative for you and useful and now we can proceed and start designing the outro.